joining us. We're joined now by Craig Morgan talking about his busy, busy weekend here at the Music Fest. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Now, I heard you just had your fan party. We did yesterday. How was that? It was great. Uh, and in the past, we just let any, everybody come, and it just got to where it was too much, so we limited it to about 100, 200 people. I don't even know how many they did it this year, but it was so cool, very intimate, a lot of fun. Record rep passed out. It was cool. Yeah, let's talk about the new music. <laughs> Let's talk about the new yeah. This Old Boy, personal favorite song of mine. Thank love, you. love, love it. The new single just come, you know, that has just come out as well. How are you feeling about this album and kind of the uh, reception you're getting from fans? Better than anything I've ever done in the really? past. I know everybody says that, but I, I've even went as far as to say that this may be the best record I ever made. Uh, we put a lot of effort into it. I had a lot of time. Uh, there's a lot of elements that go into making a record. Yeah. And this is for the first time in my career when making this record, every one of those elements we're as good as they could be. Mm -hmm. And that's hard. Uh, the record label I'm with is just over the top. It's just they're wonderful people. So they allowed me to be in a place that I've never been before emotionally, spiritually, personally, physically, everything. So, and the songs, I feel like we've, you know, write, writing better than I ever have. Uh, the stuff I didn't write came from people that I've written with. Uh, and, and they were holding songs for me for this new project. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel real good about it. And, you know, it's nice to see when everything, because as you mentioned, so many different little, uh, you know, aspects have to come together, and they seem that they did so magically for this record. So nice to see that for it, you. It is. It's exciting. It's uh, I'm, I'm having more fun than I've ever had in my career, and I've been doing this for a while. I mean, yeah. this is my, uh, I think, my 11th. Now don't uh, tell on yourself festival. here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know what? I love it. I, and like yeah. I said, I'm having more fun now than I ever have in my career. Yeah. Okay, now you love your music, but I understand we might be seeing you on TV soon doing a little acting. Oh, yeah. On a show. Tell everybody kind of a little about that. Yeah, well, uh, you know the video, uh, This Old Boy, I had Angie Harmon in yeah. the video. She's the uh, star of Rizzoli and Isles. Uh -huh. One of the stars. Um, they called and said, hey, would you like to be on the show? And I said, yeah, and I thought they were going to have me do a cameo. I'd just done a, uh, a performance on uh, Army Wives. Yeah. Uh, and, and it had some lines in that, but it was me being me, so it wasn't real difficult. Uh, and they told me that, you know, I had a character, and they told me a little bit about the character, and we re I did the read for it, and yeah. I got accepted, and ended up being a, it's really cool. There's, I, I play the, the character of a, uh, a medical examiner from Texas coming to help them. Uh, okay. Well, I come up there for a seminar, but I end up helping them solve a crime. So, very cool. Do you think you might end up moving into being a medical examiner then someday? You seem multi-talented. No. I don't know. What I, could I, be next? I hope to move into the guy playing the medical examiner for, on a regular basis, Got but I won't really? be the medical examiner. Well, that would be cool. Very yeah, it'd cool. be fun. All right, you're going to be performing and talking to fans. You know, you've been here many times, as you said. What's kind of your favorite part about getting to chat with the fans, you know, that I'm... It's just the interaction. Yeah. You know, hearing the response with the, about the music, uh, some of the stories. I had a lady yesterday at the fan club, and I've known her since... I first started. Yeah. Uh, we called her, she was one of the front row girls. Keith Urban and I toured together early on in our careers. And uh, Keith and I met these ladies and they came to the show every morning early. And we called them the front row girls. Uh, and she was at the show and when she left yesterday, she came back and she said, I just wanted to tell you, you've been very influential to us. Yeah. And, and that's not, I mean, you know, because it's just music. Yeah. But it's amazing to hear the stories and the impact that we as artists and that our music has had on their lives. Yeah. And that's just very rewarding. You know, I'm not not a lyricist, but I think that could be the title of your next song for Row Girls. It could what be. What do you think? Let's hope. All right, busy, busy summer planned for you. Tied into uh, the state of Kentucky a little bit. That's right. Uh, the GNCC, we raced the Grand National Cross Country Racing, mm -hmm. off-road dirt bike racing. And we have a lot of races, actually, in Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, and as well, August the 11th, I do a charity event every year in Dixon, Tennessee, which is just hop, skip, right and a jump from you guys. Yeah. And uh, we invite everyone to come out. We do an off-road trail ride. I bring in some of the biggest names in the Supercross and off-road industry. And then we have an acoustic concert that night, all to raise money for Billy's Place, a home that we're attempting to build for children who have been displaced from their families. Yeah, so much going on. What does it mean to you to be able to do that concert and raise money for that? It's very humbling, i got to tell you. Uh, when I left the Army to pursue the music, I really thought I would do it for a couple years and end up back in the Army. So now, to have been in it for so long and still to be able to do it and, and to be able to give back so much, especially to our community, uh, it's, it's a very humbling thing. So. Yeah, very and we're important. also going to be right here back on the 4th of July. Yeah. The big 4th of July celebration will be performing right here in, yeah. in Nashville. You know, concerts are your thing. What yeah. are you going to do? We appreciate you talking to us. Thank you. Thanks.